Hello and welcome to Let's Play. I'm just Joshin with you. Also, I'm the J of Spade, and welcome to Let's Play Call of Juarez Gunslinger, the latest in the Call of Juarez franchise, and the last Wild West video game to be released by a major publisher since, uh, well, I guess Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption. Techland, the makers of Dead Island, so it's surprising that the game is any good at all. But I really like this game. Right now we're just gonna set up gamma and screen adjust. I'm gonna go to the help and options menu and turn off tutorials because I'm good at video games. Well, really it's just because I don't want to show you guys the tutorials because I'm gonna be explaining it. I'm not good enough to play on hard mode for the recording because that just means there'll be more deaths I need to edit out. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? I is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. And we've just been introduced to Silas Greaves, who we will be playing, and we've been introduced to the narrative device. Being Silas telling stories in a bar. We've got a loading screen right here. I just kind of like showing off the tips that the loading screen has, because sometimes they're interesting, and sometimes they're funny. It's a good loading screen. Also, the music's not bad either. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. You heard that. You need to stay here to keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. In the PS3 version, it's L1 to aim down sights and R1 to shoot. Nice shooting, Tex. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his Fire army of well. deputies had surrounded the entire the homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out. Of so that's good. 
just what I did. Pressing R2 will activate concentration mode, which is what slowed down time there. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Gunslinger is a really fun arcade style scoring system, where different shots will get you more points and killing enemies in a row will get you a combo multiplier. You'll score concentration for Merc and Fools. Unfortunately right there I didn't have enough in my bar for, to concentrate for very long. You, you, can kill me you can press circle to hide behind cover. It's helpful because like most modern first person shooters you have for generating health. You can shoot through some pieces of cover, which is nice because that'll get you some good bonus points. Oh, I guess that guy didn't have regenerating health. Too bad. You're dead. You can press circle to duck through this and grab the first nugget of truth, the collectibles throughout the game. That nugget of truth leveled us up, so now we can access the skill screen. We've got three different skill bars that we can put stuff into. But uh, for me, I'm going to be putting a point into the Guns of Kimbo. Which lets us have two handguns for the price of one. Not bad if I do say so myself. Two guns are always better than one. Except for aiming, they're slightly worse at that. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. That was Silas's sense of death. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? Indeed, darling. But where was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of them are saddle clamps, or sod busters, or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Sense of death is the icon at the top right. It refills over time so you can dodge the would-be lethal bullet. Then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We'll cover you! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. Watch your play! their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, I was You'll inside, dead, you none bastard. the worse for wear. Ah, a ghost. I passed Dirty Dave, and upstairs I found Billy Get and Charlie Bolton. I'm done with you. <laughs> Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Where'd he come from? Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Red barrels are explosive if you shoot them, so always do that. They're even highlighted whenever you're in concentration, like all the enemies. The rifle's pretty nice, it shoots at a much farther range than just the pistol by itself, and it holds 10 shots instead of just 6. like flies, but they just kept on coming. We even get points for destroying debris with explosives, so why not shoot them? They're easier to shoot than the guys some of the times, too. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! Your combo won't go down in concentration mode, so use that to your advantage. 
This scene's basically just a fun little arcade shooting gallery. It's kind of hard to die, and if you are getting shot up, you can just hide behind the window seals. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy Shell. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? Breaking a door open will always put you in concentration mode, so you can do cool shit. Those poor sons of bitches are done for! But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is this Joshua. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. For some reason, I always miss that guy because he hides behind a pole. I'm ending you. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done, more of these hapless bastards blow up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. Before that, however, we're gonna pop open the skills menu and put one into Eagle Eye, which will slow down time for a little bit whenever you're aiming. Wait a minute. This scarecrow. He stole a hat. What a jerk! And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. Challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. This is the first of the dual mini games. You're gonna want to move your incredibly swimmy cursor onto them to try to focus on them. That's all for now, but later it gets more complicated. You'll be able to draw when your heart starts beating quickly, but you don't want to shoot them unless they pull their gun out first. Otherwise, it's dishonorable. And that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. Wait a minute. Hat thieves get got. I stepped inside and bam. Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? And boy, that was just the beginning. Here's the score screen after every level. We'll see different stats and such for how we played the game. I like it quite a bit. Also, the music is very nice. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah, after I came to, bastard had clocked me with his colt.
And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. Seems like old Silas Greaves has got himself in a whole heap of trouble now. Now let's see. How can we get out of being hung? Or hanged? Yeah, it's hanged whenever it's being... Wait. Is it hung or hanged? It... You hang a tie. Or you hung... It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Uh, correction, first order, finding a hat. Second order, leveling up. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? Ah, Hell yeah. That scattered gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. It could blow a man clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim the damn thing. The kids escaped and raised a huge ruckus. Guards were everywhere looking for him. Can't let the kid get away. Oh, oh my God. Anybody see him? I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could, but some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. And suddenly, I was a fugitive. How the hell did the kid escape? So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. Bernie, get you! I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. Oh, you! This town didn't have a moment's faith. Kill him! But hell if they weren't all waiting for me. Apparently, some of them thought I was Bill. I love the shotgun in this game. It, it does a lot of damage and it shoots surprisingly far. The skill I upgraded a little while ago makes a pop up appear whenever a nugget of truth is nearby. It's pretty handy for a casual playthrough and for the LP as well. He's in town somewhere! See, me and the kid shared a certain similarity in the build and the I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. Silas will automatically twirl his guns whenever he's done fighting all the enemies in the area. Unfortunately, I usually cut off the animation by reloading. So much lead was whizzing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. 
Well, I never did have a great fox for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beast. The price is too high, if you ask me. I'm pretty sure they have that line in the game just so they don't have to put a horse riding segment in. Sometimes I do get a teensy bit lost, but that doesn't happen too often. Don't worry. But where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. <laughs> So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. Fighting the shielders like that is a really fun and satisfying way to do it. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No, because they all thought I was Billy, and all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean-ass shotgun. It's better to just open a door normally if you know there's no enemies behind it, or else you'll wind up wasting your concentration. And you can use concentration for cool shots like that. So there's actually an option in the menu to be able to fire your guns separately in the Kimbo mode, but I prefer to just have the aim down the sights option. It's more useful than being able to choose which of your guns you shoot. You'll normally just fire them in an alternating pattern, assuming that you have enough ammo in each gun. This upgrade just makes you able to take more hits. It kind of has a funny description saying it's making you bullet resistant instead of bulletproof. Probably my biggest downfall in this game is that a lot of times I'll rush forward without realizing that I haven't killed everybody behind me yet. Getting shot in the back is no way to survive a gunfight. Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street. Eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Now you have a new mechanic with the quick draw mini game. You have to adjust your hand so it's closer to your gun so you can draw it quicker. Like your cursor, it moves a little bit finicky, so you have to keep adjusting both of them at the same time. I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Like who? Well, Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. That Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. Thanks for watching episode one. Stay tuned, cowpokes.